Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with a new AI generative function in the beta version of Photoshop. Uh, so let's get started uh, with this photograph right here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the subject. And it, it automatically figures out where the subject is, which is cool. And uh, we're going to go over here to uh, select and go to inverse. So that it has the background selected. And then I'm going to put beach. And let's change where this man is standing. So that instead of uh, in this city here, uh, he'll be at the beach because uh, it's actually Memorial Day today. So what better day to go to the beach than today? All right. So let's see what we have here as far as uh, choices. I got like three choices here. I like this one because we got a little bit of sand here. So let's go with that. Um, the horizon isn't very level right here. And I don't know if I like that. So let's 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 generate again, see if it gives us three more and uh, pick from there. That's the nice thing about this uh, generative AI. You can uh, if you don't like the three choices, it gives you three choices. And then if you don't like those, you can you can regenerate again and uh, give it another shot. All right. Well, yeah, no, neither of those are. This looks a lot like. Wait, let's see what we got here. Oh, I was looking at the old ones. This is the new one right up here. Isn't that interesting? All right. There's that, and there's this. Isn't that level in that one? I don't know. I kind of like the mountain in the background. Let's go with that one. What the heck? All right. So let's uh, go here and uh, I'm going to uh, crop this out to extend the photograph because we don't want the guy too crowded into the picture. We need a little bit more uh, uh, room for him. So uh, let's let's go with this. Uh, this should be enough space for him, I think. Now, let's go here again, and I'm going to select. I'm going to overlap the edge here a little bit when I select, because it tends to blend better if you do that. So let's generate a fill for this side. And let's see what it does. Oh, did a very good job. Uh, and let's go over here and uh, go with this side, generate a fill. Let it do its thing again. All right, so now he's on the beach, but he doesn't really look dressed for the beach, does he? So, uh, okay, let's let's change what he's wearing since he's at the beach. He's changed where he was. Let's uh, let's see what we can do with this. So, we're gonna go here. So, uh, first off, let's see. Let's let's try a tuxedo. All right, well, we got to, I don't know if I like that. That's a kind of odd tie he has on there. Let's uh, see if we got another choice here. That looks pretty good right there. That, I don't, I don't know what this is here. It looks like it's some, it looks like it's a bourbon to paradise flower or something in there. Or, or cabbage, I don't know. Let, let's go back here. This is the one I would select for the tuxedo, I think, but uh, that's kind of like a James Bondy kind of theme here, but uh, maybe that's a little bit too formal. So let's let's go back. Let's go back to the original thing. Let's let's generate another fill. Let's go with uh, beach clothes. So. see what we get because after all he is at the beach hey well we got that that's a, that's a little bit outrageous <laughs> and uh, we got this uh, let's I don't know let's 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 generate another set <laughs> 
All right, it's not it's not it's not working for this this guy right here. All right, well that 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 doesn't look. That's actually the best choice I think right here. All right, so let's just let's leave him in the these beach clothes right here. And uh, so, but he looks a little bit lonely now. So uh, let's let's go right here and select this area. Let's generate a fill, and let's uh, let's put a, a young woman into the uh, picture and generate that. Okay, there's, there's a couple of choices here. <laughs> All right, so I, I think we'll go with this woman right here. Um, so, uh, then, uh, well, you know what, there's should be something over here too. Let's, let's put another woman over here. Put her back a little in the background and, uh, oh, I'm not sure what, that doesn't make that much sense. Let's see. Another one in the background. Look, I think that's really the best one as far as that kind of set goes there. So that just... She's on her way out someplace, I guess. Uh, so, um, the other thing we can do here is, uh, you know what, the sun's pretty bright out here, so let's, let's give this guy a set of sunglasses. How about that? All right, let's see, we've got a couple of choices here. All right, I think I like this pair right here. So, uh, let's go with this. And so, uh, let me move this out of the way here. And let me go to uh, fit the screen right here. So here is our, our photograph now. Uh, and so uh, if we go back, we can pull each of these elements out separately. This was the outfit he was originally wearing. There we go. This is the original picture that we had. And so we ended up, as you recall, stretching it out and filling it out and giving him this outfit. We put a woman in the picture with him and then another woman in the background walking away. And we gave him sunglasses. And so that's that's the, that's the final uh, picture that we end up with. So... Pretty cool feature. Uh, some people think it's a little bit scary. Um, the the only thing that's left of the original picture is his face, and we put sunglasses over it. So we take that off. His his face is original, and we've covered that up. So not much. His mouth, his nose, and his head basically are are all that's left from the original picture. We've changed everything else. I'm Dean, and this is Photo Blue. And uh, I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.